How are you doing with that development? It's kind of bittersweet for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it, it, it's got its good points because there is somebody being held accountable for it and everything. And then there's the bad part, you know. I had to pronounce my child dead. I see it a little differently than everybody else sees it. Everybody sees it like it's good. You know, we caught the person, he's going to prison, and, you know, it's great. And But my thing is, is that I don't get my daughter back. So that was the kind of part that I get stuck on. What was your reaction when you heard first-degree murder? Monday morning, they made the official phone call to tell me that they had made the indictment. They had made the first-degree indictment. I knew the first day. I really did. I mean, literally, I knew the first day. Me and my daughter, my oldest daughter, we just, there was no doubt in my mind. One of the things, uh, Leah, that I've read about the case, obviously one of the big things in this, is that they haven't found Morgan yet. Are you worried about that when it does go to trial? I have no doubt in my mind that we'll win it. They asked me the other day if, would I make a deal with him if he would tell us where she was? Uh, I said, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, you know. Because right now he's still saying he has no idea who the hell she is. What do I want for him? I want him to take my Morgan out of wherever he put her, and I want him to throw him in there and cover him up. You know, what gave me the right to take my child? Because you didn't want another baby. You have four other children. What made mine so less important, you know? He has daughters, and Morgan was going to have a girl, too. How would you want your daughter to be remembered? Just beautiful. I mean, she was just beautiful. Inside and out, I mean, she was a smart, beautiful person. And when she found out she was pregnant, she was, I mean, other than being scared of me, she was, <laughs> she was so happy to get to have a baby. You know, she just, she wanted to be a mom. What would you say to anyone who's going through this right now or who's waiting for answers on their own child that's been missing? I just tell people, keep putting it out there. Keep forcing it into people's face. I don't ever quit putting it in people's face. I'll tell Morgan's story a thousand times. Every day, I would love for these people to, you know, get to tell people their story, how they feel. Because I'm getting a little bit of closure. They're not getting any.